here at Baywatching Nights like to make a lot of jokes about the X-Files, and that's not going to stop, because this is one of the most X-Files episodes they ever did. We've seen a lot of stories aping the Creature of the Week formula X-Files excelled at, but this is their first venture into their more boring alien conspiracy slash myth arc episodes. They did already do an episode featuring an alien and some shadowy, ill-defined organization that Teague works for at the very end, but I'd say that was mostly a dumb action story. This one is just straight-up X-Files. You know the drill. Space stuff and ominous figures in hazmat suits, floodlights everywhere, fan silhouettes, German text with the location, date, and time, and of course, things that explode and infect people. Anyway, this is called Space Spores. It's about space spores. We begin with NASA stock footage, hearkening back to X-Files most popular episode, Space. It looks great. The space shuttle Discovery is making its way back to Earth, and what do you know, they've brought back some dang space spores. These space spores land on the Burton farm, so it's time for a visit from the EIT, which is some sort of cryptic organization that's totally sneaky and covert. Oh, it's routine, sir. Yeah, I got it. Well, what's EIT? Really, there's no reason for concern. Sir, we need to check out your farm. No, I won't even make up a lie about who we are, but trust me, everything is A-OK. -okay. Check every nook and cranny, everyone, because if this shit gets out, we're talking full-scale invasion. The human race could disappear. Move, 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 move! Well, after a thorough inspection, the EIT has determined this farm is clean of any and all space spores. Except for all those space spores they left behind. You know what that means, it's Teague time, and he's called in Ryan and Mitch to help him investigate. Let me guess, Chupacabra. What? You know, Mexican vampires? No, that's not one of the possibilities. Firstly, Teague is the kind of guy who knows about a Jogans and psychic alien connections via lightning, but he's never heard of the Chupacabra before. Secondly, while Chupacabras drink the blood of livestock, I feel like calling them Mexican vampires is not an entirely helpful or accurate description. Thirdly, Teague wouldn't be saying that's not one of the possibilities if he had seen the episode of The X-Files about the Chupacabra, which was also about some sort of space spore and had fuck all to do with the Chupacabra, which aired, oh, um, one week before this episode of Baywatch Nights. Anywho, the farmer and his daughter are missing, but Teague doesn't want Mitch and Ryan to investigate that. He wants them to investigate something somewhere for some reason. So that's who we're looking for? No, the police are on it. Then what? I don't want to give you any parameters. It clouds judgment. So just wander aimlessly until the credits roll. I'm not sure why, but our lifeguard PI team is not into that. So Teague reluctantly has to tell them fucking anything. He explains the situation and, you know, if I were Mitch and Ryan, I might be pissed that he was trying to get me to blindly walk onto a farm he believes is crawling with contagious space spores. But then again, he wanders onto the farm crawling with contagious space spores himself and doesn't seem concerned about getting infected, so I have to conclude he's just an idiot. You're alone on this. You think there's something here, but your colleagues, whoever they are, they don't buy it. So, does he work with the EIT then? If they're even called the EIT? And whoever the hell they are, what exactly is his role? He seems to be in charge of some folk at some level, and yet his crack field team is comprised of one forensic scientist, a middle-aged lifeguard turned PI, and occasionally their photographer buddy. I would still love to know how the hell this reluctant partnership came about, but if I knew the parameters, it would cloud my judgment. You know, isn't it amazing with all the scientific brains you seem to have and all the resources you seem to have, the only help you can muster up is us? That's what I'm saying! Ah! Mitch hears a dog whining, and we all know how Mitch feels about dogs, so he's not gonna help no matter how many times someone on set shakes a bush at him. <sighs> Enough! Don't bother investigating or telling me about any of this. Ryan and I found an exploded rat in the barn. You gotta see this, it's awesome. Somehow this connects to my frog hybrid girlfriend.
Time to bust out the old microscope, because science. But who needs science when we have Mitch Von Malibu on hand, the world's greatest detective? Just pour himself a cup of coffee, lit himself a cigarette. When something at the window catches his attention. Now, follow me closely, there'll be a quiz later. He hears something at the window, strange, unusual. A farmer doesn't jump up every time he hears a cow burp. Okay, I'm no farmer, but if I was sitting at my kitchen table and a cow burped so loud I could hear it from inside, I am absolutely gonna jump up. There was a point to Mitch's rambling, and that's that a cat exploded nearby. Just like Mitch's frog hybrid girlfriend. Ryan faxes the exploded cat sample findings to a friend, who explains that the organism infects the host and then, like a plant, explodes to spread its spores and reproduce. And then for some reason, it blows up. It explodes in order to spread its spores, and that's how it moves from one host to the next. She follows up, for some reason, with, here's the reason. So I guess we know what some reason is in this case. And then, because they've discovered an exploded roach, rat, and cat, Ryan concludes that the organism is moving up the food chain, despite not knowing the order of explosion or if there are any other things infected. Obviously, the next step is Mitch's frog hybrid girlfriend. Huh, guess no one looked that hard for the farmer or his kid. No one but Mitch Buchanan could have thought to look in the attic. Meanwhile, Teague has gone to the EIT for help. He can just walk around without a hazmat suit, it's cool. He says he's going to get Ryan and Mitch out now, but Colonel Hazmat says no. She also says not to tell them anything, and he gets upset, despite the fact that at this point he's told them everything. I know these people, I trust them. Look. Teague, the personal failings are way low on my list of priorities here. Ah, see, that's Teague's problem. He's just too trusting for the shadowy organization of government origin? Teague, are you coming back? As soon as I am able. Until then, you do what you think you have to do. What the hell are you doing? You just purposely compromised this entire operation. Lock him up. Yes, ma'am. Come with us, Mr. Teague. You don't have that authority. You can't be telling people to do things. You've just purposefully compromised this entire operation of us dinking around farms and giving them the all clear. Everything was running perfectly until you came along and said, do what you think you have to do to a lifeguard. A lifeguard, damn it. Are you insane? Wow, this is crazy. Maybe we're finally getting some world building here. Teague and this colonel clearly have a tense history. I wonder what we'll uncover about them as the season... Oh, wait, sorry. She's just in this episode and we find out jack shit. So, Teague's out. Who else can help? I'm Griff. Well, we're fucked. Wait, <laughs> is that locked up? Lock him up. Things go from bland to worse when one of the hazmat guys turns out to be infected. Better set off the tent alarms. Colonel, he's been contaminated. Oh, that was scary. Well, I'm glad we never come back to this. Woo. Uh, I'm Griff? Sir, we've got a code seven. That's right, Griff on the loose. Griff on the loose! This vague government organization is no match for a photographer in white sneaks. Ow! Somehow punching me in the mask knocked me out! I'm Griff! We all know infected dogs can't resist a Griffy snack, so he's trapped in the driveway while Mitch becomes a distraction. This will buy time for Ryan and the little girl to get to the ambulance, but uh, mostly Mitch wants to confront the thing he hates the most. <gasps> you damn dog! Why couldn't you have infected Hobie? Then we'd all be happy! <laughs> but somehow they lose track of it? Wow, great job by all! Well, time to explode like Mitch's frog hybrid girlfriend! <laughs> this is what I love about Baywatch. Even their dog explosions have to be overkill. I kinda love Griff's reaction, because at this point, he knows absolutely nothing about what's happening, and he just saw a dog blow up the fuck out of nowhere. Anyway, Ryan and the little girl are infected with the dayglow paint. It's too late, the gestation's already started. Now, Mitch doesn't know nothing about no fancy schmancy gestating. I don't know anything about gestating. But he knows a little something about exploding after his frog hybrid girlfriend and all. If a decompression chamber can save divers from blowing up when they come up too fast, it can surely rid a person of a space spore. I'm Grim! Never mind, 
why we have weird fans in here or why we're taking them in on stretchers when they can walk. This is my save! Let my presence be a comfort to you. Now was the time to remove my helmet when we know for sure infected people are on the loose. Oh my god, there's a lifeguard and a photographer in here! Do we shoot? I don't know, I'm scared! I don't wanna die! You guys all have guns, but what about my one gun? Damn, you're right, stand down. <gasps> They're at popcorn stage, they're saved! Got to survive and be in better projects. Yeah. Well, guess it's over, and there's no reason to arrest them or hold them at gunpoint by a jeep or whatever the hell these guys do. Makes it easy! We felt real bad about your dog exploding and all, so here's another one, little girl. Just know that I never agreed to replace the exploding dog and take no responsibility for it. I guess you know getting us involved in something like this almost got us killed. But it didn't. On the road again. Can we find a gas station? I need to go to the bathroom. I told you to pee before we left. But now I have to go poop. <sighs> Fine, but I'm not waiting outside the restroom because that's how vampires get the hots for me. Can I change the music? I want to listen to Enigma. David Hasselhoff or nothing. Next time on Baywatch, inside sports photo shoot. Meanwhile, Mitch swims in some toxic chemicals and gets sick or something. Don't you know that you're toxic?